The Ultimate Pool Champions League, brought to you by Vinny.co.uk. Welcome back. It all comes down to this then. Ultimate Pool Champions League, last 16, Group 4. One more place available in the last four. And it will go to one of Aaron Davies, Sean Storry, or as we just saw, Lightning Luke Gilbert. For Aaron Davies, it's in his own hands. And it will be still after a break like that. All he has to do is avoid defeat, and he's in the semi-final against Christophe Lambert. If Sean Storry wins, though, we will have a three-way six-red shootout. Crunch. Just, that was some break there. Yeah, it really was. Wow. I mean, we were chatting just off air there, Simon. It's probably statistically the most likely we've been for a six-red shootout at this point in the night, with, a, with the three-way at least. Yeah, 100%. We're talking about the fact that Sean Story is a number two seed for the competition. And, you know, normally in this sort of situation, we, we're looking at the top seed or one of the top seeds against potentially the qualifier or the outsider of the group. Not quite the case here. So Aaron's going to be bang under it. Everybody that's been in this sort of situation that Aaron's in right now always talks about how difficult a spot it is to be in. He needs to forget about everything else and play a race to four. Play one match. And whatever happens, happens. Not the greatest of first shots here from Aaron. Put himself under big pressure here. And that might be a foul. He wants to review this one. It's very difficult. It's very, very close. He was trying to play a plant into the left center off the bottom cushion. But because he hit the left-hand side cushion first, he needs to hit the cushion after contact as well. So all eyes on the cue ball here. He wanted to catch the yellow full, and he doesn't. Misses his line by a ball. I think it does, yeah. Cue ball's fine. Yeah, it looks fine to me. So we're just having a... This is a bit of a VAR situation. The referee is currently uh, reviewing the footage. Sometimes in these situations, and we've been fooled by the camera angle many times, um, you can look at it and it almost looks like it's rocked off the cushion when it hasn't. But in this case, I think the, the footage is there for us all to see that it was absolutely fine. So, decision made. And don't worry about the clock. It was stopped in that situation as well. So, no time wasted. But a chance wasted for Aaron, that's for sure. Chance here for Sean Story to get off to a quick start. Good finish required, especially with a couple of reds and the eight ball where they are. may be tempted to leave the red above the eight ball as his last ball. Just off straight would give him a nice little angle to get onto it. If he was straight, there may be enough room to drift past the yellow and take the eight into the bottom left as well. So it wouldn't be the worst last ball. And he is going to leave it down there. Either of the two reds in the middle of the table look pretty good to connect to the one at the bottom to give himself the perfect angle to get comfortably on that eight ball. Delicate one from Sean Story, but that's fine. Looks 
like he's got a lovely little angle just to drift down where he wants to be. He's got too much angle here, more than it looks on our camera angle, and he could end up rolling just a fraction too far. This one could get away from him, I think. Yeah, it's more angle there than it looked from the overhead. He's having to use the cushion, but he's used it well. If he plays that plain ball and just lets it roll down the table, he stays on the red, but he's the wrong side of the red. So that's why he's had to play a little screw shot, but he's played it well. Oh, he decelled. Oh, Huge decel no. on that one. That's probably as poor a bit of queuing as we've seen from Sean Story in his whole ultimate pool career. Have a watch of this. All his focus is on the cannon. Completely decelerates on the pot. So yeah. for those not in the know, Simon, when you're talking about decel and deceleration, what what causes it? What What is it? Why does it affect the shot so much? Well, you're not going to cue it online. You want to be cueing everything with positivity, so with it, with acceleration. Even shots when you're playing it you know, slowly with you know, delicate shots, you still want to be accelerating through the cue ball. Hold the cue ball on the line you want to. And with that one, you could see him. He, he's almost completely mistimed it. He's almost, well, he's, he's decelerating at moment impact, therefore the, the decel. Throws the cue ball a little bit offline. Misses the pot. Gets the cue ball all wrong as well. And Aaron Davies will not waste this opportunity. You would imagine. Yeah, he still needs to play a good shot. Still needs to play a real good positional shot because he can pop this one and get onto the yellow to the bottom left or he can pop this one and get on the yellow into the left centre. But if he doesn't get the perfect angle on either of those two balls, he could end up in a little bit of a mess. And he is short and he's a long way short. That's yeah. not the best shot he's ever played. There's some pressure out there. There really is. Aaron, to me, looked like he tried to get low on the the yellow into the left centre. I think he's the more the, the shot with more margin is to get onto the yellow to the bottom left because it worst way he's gonna he could play a little cannon onto the eight ball or he could work his way around more. All right, big double, brilliant what double. A shot. When the chips were down, Aaron Davies delivers, and he had to there. <laughs> it's never easy to win a frame in these big matches. Made to work, but he pulls it out of the fire, does Aaron Davies. Short yeah, story left to root. I think uh, Aaron might be sat down with some relief there. And a quick look over at his girlfriend and a, and a bit of a sort of nervous laugh, really. Knows he got himself in a mess, but managed to get himself out of it. But... Sean is going to be very frustrated. Golden opportunity to get himself 1-0 in front. And, and more than that, an opportunity to get himself 1-0 in front on the back of an Aaron Davies mistake, which can count for so much more. Has to go back to work here and get himself on level terms. Very close to that golden break again. <laughs> Nobody gets the eight ball moving like Sean Story. He really has found a way. You see him straight away looking at it. Unfortunately, though, nothing else. So Aaron and I end up the reds. The two reds together. In the left centre pocket, neither of those pass into the left centre pocket, so a cannon is required. Don't think he's got the angle to do it here. I think he's going to hit the red at the bottom of the table. No, he managed to avoid them. And that will do nicely. Doing what you need to do, attack your bad balls as early as you possibly can. 
and now start to pick your route. Everything goes, everything's got a pocket. It's how you want to work your way around them. Looks like he's just off angle here, which isn't great. So a very delicate one. And now he's got another delicate one to the top right corner. Looks like the angle's still not great. Looks like he's sliding sort of into the eight ball, maybe just past the eight ball. So now I think that's why he's now coming, looking at the one he's nearest to, which is, these are always horrible shots. He wants to take the one to the bottom right because it's a better angle, but it's a, a horrible little shot. Still heavy weather here. Yeah, still can't get a good angle on anything. He's on the next pot, but the angle's still not great. Going away, away from the rest of his work. And he's on the next ball, but he's still not got a good angle. Yeah, he's chasing. He really is chasing. This will be some positional shot to land on the next ball nicely. Oh, yeah. Slide by it. What oh, a brilliant. shot that is. Absolutely brilliant. Okay, it looks easy. I mean, in terms of he could have potted that and got onto the one to the left centre, you know, by playing that just a shade firmer. But he wanted to be uh, on the one to the bottom left. If he's on the one into the centre pocket, then you've got a, a world of trouble to get on the one at the bottom of the table. As it happens, actually, he's that little flick on the red means he's a little bit thinner on this than he wanted. Oh, just just nudges it too far. Couldn't hold the cue ball, so tried to play a delicate cannon. He actually wouldn't have annoyed him too much if the red drops in, because at least he has a shot on the eight ball. Oh, this is going to be some shot required here. Kick shot. Is all that's left. He's close. He's in off. Oh, wow. This match has already had some serious, serious drama. He knew straight away. I'm not sure he could get to the angle without having to play with side. I think he hits the jaw if he goes any further up the table. So in the opening frame, Aaron made a mistake and Sean did not punish it. This time he absolutely has to and immediately makes a mistake. He was playing a little cannon there on the yellow just to pop it open, stay on the one to the bottom left-hand corner at the same time. And he's back to work. May play a double. Play, it's a bit of a free double in terms of I don't think he's leaving a, a pot on because he'll be keeping the cue ball down the bottom end of the table. He has missed the double, though. What's Aaron got this time? Can he go two cushions past the eight ball through the gap? It's tight. I don't think, he, I don't think the one cushion's on this time. This is a situation where I'd love to see Aaron have a couple of minutes to work this one out because I think he's... Uh, it would have been quite entertaining to see what, uh, how many cushions he was going to come up with to try and hit that one and pot it. In the end, clock got to him and he just had to not foul. Oh, this is tough now. This is going to be a dramatic ending, folks. Seven minutes and change still to go as it stands. The three-way six red shoots out is absolutely in play, but we might not get there. That was nearly a brilliant shot from Sean. If he catches that eight ball any thicker, he's on the yellow to the top left, and his trickiest ball's out the way. That little nudge on the eight ball, though, does open up at the yellow a fraction more, so it's still not a tricky ball, but he's not nicely on the next one. And he misses. That's a huge miss. The I mean, previous shot, the, the little flick, it's made all the difference, made that pot trickier. And you I, just do not know where this night is going, do you? It's still not a guarantee no. for Aaron because that Look eight where ball, that eight ball is. The eight ball doesn't have a home. 
it, it doesn't go anywhere. I mean, he's thrilled to be back at the table with a chance. That, I mean, can even you if maybe it's a treble, but maybe try and land somewhere near the bulk line and maybe take it long? Can he get there? No. So he's what's he thinking here? Answers on a postcard. Yeah, time to get your protractors out, folks. Maybe a little cross double. I don't think the cross double's on. That's why I was thinking maybe treble. But he wanted to be much further up the table if he's playing treble. Well, hold on to your hats. What have you got for us, Aaron? It is the cross double. It was close. So the double was on. In fact, it was comfortably on. Yeah, he misses it on the, the top the side. Way, yeah. yeah. So I think this is Sean's what third or fourth chance in this frame. Couple in the opening frame, just can't get into this match. You feel he has to take a D's out. Has to. Well, if you thought this frame was big, folks, looks like Sean Story is going to take this one down. Wait until you see how big the next one is. <laughs> Tell you what, Penny, for uh, Luke Gilbert's thoughts in this situation, you feel like Sean's got all the chances in the world to do him a favour here, and he's not uh, he's not been taking them. Normal circumstances. I'd be shocked to see Sean miss this one. There's pressure on this, and it's awkward queuing. Yeah, good shot. There was plenty of pressure on that one. Eight ball was comfy. Well, as comfy as it can be in a game like this. And still, with four minutes left, or well, there are thereabouts of our final match, of our final group stage of the Champions League, we still don't know who is joining. Stevie Dempsey, Tom Cousins and Christophe Lambert on finals night. If it stays as it is, it's Aaron Davies. If he wins this next frame, it is very likely to be Aaron Davies. But he needs a ball to get that conversation started. Yeah, this next shot is massive. And he's been breaking really well tonight. Huge power, great explosion, good control. Well, less control on this one, but he still absolutely mullered it. Yeah, but wouldn't you know it, not an easy layout. Not an easy layout at all. I think he has to go yellows here, and it's one shot to open everything up. Not guaranteed to land nicely on the next ball. Play, if you play this one to bottom left now and open up that area of the table, not guaranteed at all. He'll take that. He will take that. That's a brilliant shot. And he looks like he's got the angle to just drift behind the one on the left-hand side cushion as well. That's a brilliant shot. Okay, decided to leave the one on the left-hand side cushion. No, he's not. He's playing it. I'm surprised he didn't try and uh, get a little bit straighter on this one. He could have held the white a lot lower down the table. It was missable. Oh, it drops in. That's well played. So they're not guaranteed to finish on this eight ball. Yeah, one more good shot required. One more good shot required. Oh, that's a good shot. He's not perfect, but he's got around to it. He'd have loved a couple of extra rolls just to make this simple. Huge amount of pressure on this shot, but he's got it. 244, 43, 42, well, even go as far as 41 remaining. Aaron Davies takes the lead. Sean Story must win the next two frames inside three minutes to force a three-way six-red shootout. Aaron Davies has got one foot in finals night. 
Yeah, and you could see almost relief coming off Aaron there. He knows whatever happens now in the next two minutes, 40 odd seconds, he knows whatever happens, he has a break. He has control in what he's doing. If he makes a ball off his next break, even if Sean was to make a golden break here or a super quick finish, Aaron knows he has control because he has an option to get to the table. No surprise to see Sean go for this cut break again. He has chopped and changed tonight, but he's been getting the eight ball in motion a lot. There it goes again. He's got a ball. He's got a couple of balls, and he's now he's got to get on his get on his scooter. Two and a half minutes to go. Needs a quick clearance here to give himself time on the Aaron Davies break. A right smile from Aaron behind him there. He knows this is a pretty decent opportunity. Yeah, one tricky ball, the one on the left-hand side cushion. He was just a little bit too thin to play it straight away. Thought he might still, because if he makes it, he probably makes the frame super quick. But all he has to do is just sort of rest into the yellow, and he's still on that red down the cushion nicely. Oh, he tried to go by it, and he has. Thought he had the angle where he could just nudge into the yellow. He didn't. That's a cute little shot. Yeah, that was a better shot than it looked. Well, Sean Story's going to ask the question here. That's all we could do at this stage. Yeah, nicely played. He's going to be out. Great visit to the table from Sean Story. He has done it so many times. He's found the clearance when it matters up against the clock. Stops the watch. 122. It's all on this next frame. It's all square with 82 seconds of the Champions League last 16 remaining. Aaron Davies just needs to stay at the table and he is in the last four. I mean, how qual I mean, whatever happens here, the quality from those two on those last two visits is ah, incredible. I mean, they were showing the pressure. Those first two frames, the chances were being missed. There were some pots missed, some poor errors because of the pressure of the situation. But, you know, Aaron stepped up and, and made an unbelievable break clearance off the back of an unbelievable break. And then Sean's response, brilliant, absolutely world class. Here we go. Aaron Davies is just thinking, give me a ball. He's been breaking so well. Oh, wow. Sean Story's got a chance. Sean Story's got a chance. 70 seconds then for a six red shootout. Shake of the head from Aaron Davies. Two tricky reds here. One on the top left. Not as bad. The one just to the right of it, very tricky. Oh, the double doesn't go. That had to go from Sean Story. Hasn't left anything easy on for, for Aaron, so that Sean may get one more half chance for a 30-second response here. The only pot Aaron's got, I think, is to the top left. He might have one to the top right, the one in the middle of the table. Neither easy. Just when he was coming to the table thinking, just give me an easy pot and I've won. Massive shot, and that should do it. And that should do it. Yeah, he's done. That was an excellent pot under the circumstances. Didn't even consider playing position. That was all about the pot. And that's that. Aaron Davies holds on by the skin of his teeth, and he's in to the final four where he will face Christophe Lambert. For the second year in a row, the Cyborg rides to the final four of the Champions League, looking to go one, if not two, steps further this time around. Aaron Davies has done it, and we'll hear from him next.